This is such cute packaging. I'm in love. And for everyone that knows, my favorite color is yellow. So there's this new cafe that opened up right next to my lash place. It's called the Good Pastry Cafe. It's over in Green Hills and it's super cute. It gives me um, Kur Kuromi? Kuromi vibes where it has like the 2D like cartoon cafe, like black and white. It's really cute where you can like, it's kind of like bread talk where you would just like pick whatever pastries you want and then they'll box it up for you. And then I also got the cute little different spiral croissants. And I was just like, ah, they're so cute and so small. I love cute little small things, but also I know the spiral croissants back at home are like going super viral thanks to TikTok. So I think this is just a mini version. I don't know. I don't know. Couldn't even tell you what the flavors were because I just saw cute and I, I bought it. Story. <laughs> Story of all of my impulsive purchases. Um, yeah, so I think everything all together cost me about one four. Ooh, that's not safe. That's a fire hazard. Um, yeah, about one four. So I have here five different flavor, well, four different flavored croissants, one egg tart, one of the cute little free croissants. There was a cute little free croissant. Look at how small. I love it. I love little small things. Um, and then there were technically four of the spiral croissants. I ate the strawberry one. It was delicious. It had birthday sprinkles on it. Definitely highlights of my lunch. But let's try the different flavors. So I think first off we should try the free, the free croissant before I cut into any of the flavored ones. Mm. It's a basic croissant. I feel like if I retoasted this, it'd probably slap. Mm. But because it's ordinary, I'd give it a nice like four out of 10 because it's kind of basic, but it's also free. So, you know, can't argue. I got two of the Oreo cookies and cream croissants because I love me a cookies and cream. So let's try this. I'm gonna cut off a piece. I'm gonna cut because I feel like I'm definitely not gonna finish any of these anytime soon. Thank God I have a sweet tooth. I don't know. But yeah, it's super cute. It has an Oreo and it has like the melted white chocolate with like Oreo bits. Cute. I thought it was gonna be filled with something but it's literally just a topping which I'm not mad about because I thought it would be too rich when you bite into it I'm gonna here for this seven out of ten I feel like if I ate this as soon as I bought it it would have been like an eight out of ten because then the croissant's still fresh Damn, if I only knew, this is delicious though. Good job. And then, mm, let's try matcha next.
Okay. So matcha is filled with a thing, with a custard. Oh, I should show you the top. So this is what the matcha croissant looks like. She's dusted on top with matcha and I think powdered sugar. And then the inside is like a matcha cream filling. Let's see. Mmm. That is for real matcha. It gives you the bitterness of matcha powder so you know it's authentic. Really messy though. That powder got everywhere. Um, I'm a matcha latte girl. I'm not a very big matcha like dessert anything else kind of girl. So for me personally, I give this like a 6 out of 10. I appreciate the authenticity though. Good job. Next, we have the chocolate chocolate chip croissant. Let's cut her. Ooh, messy. I feel like croissants are one of those breads that are just like, there's no clean way to eat it because it's flaky. And then you added all of these toppings. It's just Super cute. I'm a sucker for cute, man. As soon as I find cute things, literally just take my money. Oh, it has like a cream filling. What happened with the cookies and cream one? How come that one doesn't have any? Huh. So this one has like a cute, it's kind of dark filling. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I think this is my favorite one so far. That's a big thing to say because I love me cookies and cream anything. But I think the cream complements the chocolate and the chocolate gives me chocolate ganache, not chocolate imitation. And that's quality, that's quality chocolate. Honestly, straight out of the gate, 8 out of 10. Maybe a 9 out of 10. I really wanted to like the cookies and cream more, but I feel like if it was a fresh croissant, it'd slap harder. Damn. Okay, last croissant to try is this strawberry... Strawberry cream filled one. Let's see. Ooh. This one does look like it has whipped cream in the middle. I love strawberry too, but damn, this country makes strawberries so expensive. This is so refreshing. The strawberry hits. And I feel like this is the most balanced of flavors with the strawberry, the whipped cream, powdered sugar, and the croissant. Ah, it's so good. Honestly, I'd put that up there with eight out of 10 also. Wow, so good. I don't know if I want to try the little minis or the egg tart. I guess let's try the egg tart because then I can close the box. So their egg tart is massive. Like it looks like a cupcake, basically. 85 degrees, who? Let's just hope she tastes just as good. Cut 
cut, cut, cut. Cut, cut, cut. Wow, it's literally the whole egg tart. That is so much filling. I appreciate that. Here for this. Mmm. The flakiness of this is like perfect. As a standalone egg tart, I'd repurchase. Let me see. It's not my favorite of the purchased items right now. But if I was really craving an egg tart, here for this. This is bomb. I need to toast it. I feel like that's going to make it a winner. Mm, six out of ten. I feel like if I toasted it, it would be a seven out of ten. Okay. I think I'm just going to bite the minis. Because the minis are so small. They could honestly be consumed in like. Three, four bites. So. I already ate the strawberry one. The strawberry one was very reminiscent of strawberry pocky. And because it was with like sprinkles and stuff, I obviously I'm a fan. I love birthday cake. I would rate the strawberry one a solid like eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. I have so much chocolate on my hands. Yay! I think this one is the hazelnut i'm gonna believe this is hazelnut but like the outer exterior gives you like the rock sugar coating plus half of it is dunked in chocolate and then covered in nuts so i appreciate let's see mm. The texture of this is a million times better than the free croissant. Because it gives you that crunchy outside, but flaky inside, that you want in a croissant. I mean, I guess you, you can't argue it was a free mini croissant, but... Hmm. I wonder if this has a feeling like the strawberry one did. The strawberry one had a... Um, like a strawberry cream filling i haven't reached a filling on this but mm. there it is it's the same cream filling as the chocolate croissant honestly i like this size better than the chocolate croissant the chocolate croissant is too big for me this one thing, 9 out of 10. Amazing. Brilliant. Okay, Mary, we have to try the other flavors. Is this one just chocolate? So again, this has the rock sugar outer exterior. It's covered in chocolate, and I think these are cookie pieces. This is so good. These little mini croissants are everything. I think this is a good 
cookies and cream filling. This would slap if it was in the croissant. Yo. Nine out of ten. I'm a fan of this. Whatever they do with these little mini things, this is this is worth the purchase. Okay, last one. I think this is vanilla cream. Cheers, friends. This one, I think out of all four flavors of the little mini croissants, I think my favorite goes to the cookies and cream, strawberry, this one, and then the hazelnut. Honestly, they're all 9 out of 10. I think it would be a 10 out of 10 if I had like coffee in my hands, but that's supplemental. Let's see. This one, I can't seem to find the cream. And I don't know. Oh. I think I just tasted it. Yeah. It's like a custard. It's not um, white chocolate. It's not vanilla flavored. It gives you custard. If you know what I mean. It gives you that milky silkiness of a cream. But it doesn't have hints of vanilla. Honestly, best items are the little spiral mini croissants. Then I would say the strawberry whipped cream croissant. The chocolate ganache cream filled croissant. And then the Oreo cookies and cream croissants, the egg tart, and then the matcha croissant are what I recommend based off of my purchases. Here at Good Pastry Cafe, I know it's like a legitimate cafe if you wanted to sit down. So they offer like a range of like pastas, pizza, coffee, tea, drinks like that. And then... There's like other like random like meal things like there's like katsu and like salads and I was like gotta come back like actually sit down you know. Overall great new find. Highly recommend.